With Shogo dead, there's only one less asshole in the world. Now, if only his father didn't retaliate. What the fuck are still screaming? I'm pretty sure Shogo's dead by now. This guy can dream, right? Oh God! Jesus! What is it, Pierce? I bumped into an old buddy of yours who was looking for you. Who is it? You can see for yourself in a few minutes. You brought him here? How do you know this asshole isn't trying to kill me? Please. I would never kill my favorite assassin. Mr. Wong. This guy used to have me running around killing guys in hot dog suits. I'm quite pleased to hear about your survival. I'm here to give you my thanks for killing Kazuo Akuji's son. You know Akuji? Akuji. Akuji and I have a long history. I have also had several unpleasant dealings with his son. What did Shogo do? When he was younger, he killed Mr. Wong's dog. You fucking kidding me. I do not joke about Sadie. If you guys got some time, we could... Is that? Were you followed? Shit, I don't know. He was fucking followed. You aren't gonna believe this. A bunch of Ronin goons are coming this way? Well, yeah. You ready for this, Wong? I have not killed a man in quite some time. For those of you who don't remember Mr. Wong, Mr. Wong was in the first game. As a matter of fact, he was one of the proprietors for the Hitman mission. And now he's back. However, he's not shown in this mission. Now, Here's the deal with this mission. Basically, you're gonna have to protect the pillars of the purgatory. And yeah, by the way, that's what it looks like after you complete all the missions in the game. And that's what it's gonna end up being called by the time you finish all the missions in the game. You have to protect your crib's pillars for as long as time, well, actually until time expires. If that meter goes out, you lose. If you die, well, uh, like what's gonna happen right now, you obviously lose. This is just a short mission, so basically all you have to do is just keep yourself alive, but more importantly, bring some saints with you to back you up. The more saints you have, the easier this particular mission will be. Oh, damn it. Let's see. I know there's another one here. And you gotta be careful, because there's always someone trying to shoot with a machine gun or with a rocket launcher. If somebody comes with a rocket launcher, by all means kill them before they take out the pillars. They take out the pillars? Of course, I've already mentioned what happens when that happens. Oh, sorry. I have a piece of candy in my mouth. Anyway, Rona will appear from the left, like so, and he'll only, and the Rona will appear from behind. And there's a guy that you do not want to live. Just find the, just find the Ronin, assassinate him, do away with him. And just hold off until time expires. Now the next room is going to be much harder. Because you see, the next room has not two pillars, but rather four. All you have to do is basically maneuver your way around the four pillars area. And kill off any Ronin that tries to destroy them. Oh, damn it. And make sure your partners survive. Hmm. Well, it looks like they're doing a good job protecting the place. <coughs> oh, excuse me, something in my throat. Anyway, there's no specific time limit to get to the pillars. You can use the time to uh, 
regenerate any damage you took. And see, it's buttholes like that who are armed with rocket launchers that needs to be killed immediately. Damn it! Let's eat something, eat something, eat something! Eat something, damn you! Oh, there's another guy. Another person needs to heal. Where are you? And you're right here. You're not bleeding out. Like I said, the more guys you bring to this fight, the easier it is. You can bring in homies that you call, by the way. But... I don't think that's a good idea. They're just as strong as regular homies. Oh! Man, the pillar's almost destroyed. Where are they? Oh, there's Sho- I mean, there's Kazuo. Excuse me one second. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. God damn it! I did not mean to step into the fire. What you're supposed to do is gun down Kazuo. And that would pretty much finish the mission. Thankfully, it picks up right here. So, all I still need to do is gun down Kazuo. And if you have homies backing you up, it'll make this battle so much easier. So that's the end of Good D. Now for the backlash of that, and probably one of the awesome scenes in this mission. But Akuji won't stop here. I know. We gotta lock our shit down. When the Ronin come back at us, I wanna be ready. Well, with that said, good D is finished. And you wanna know what else? In part 20, so are the Ronin. This is RVMan985. See you guys next time.